So this is the women's light middleweight final, 70 kilos, uh, making her way to the ring. Now representing Kazakhstan is Valentina Kaltsova. She got a walkover in the semi-final against Ani Hosepian of Armenia. Won the gold medal at the Asian Championships last year. That was at 67 kilos as the weights were then. And won here last year, beating Anna Lysenko at 69. And this is Galina Golovchenko of Russia. She beat the Olympic gold medalist, Busana Sermonelli of Turkey, on a split in her semi final. Five scores of 29 28. She won the final round 3 2 to squeeze through. So that is a big, big scalp. Some big names at the Stranger, as there always is. So Kaltsova of Kazakhstan in the red corner. Golovchenko, Russia in the blue. And the gold medal here for Golovchenko. We'd see Russia go to the top of the gold medal table with six. They're currently level with Uzbekistan, five apiece. Kazakhstan with two gold medals up until this point. Counts over has had that extra bit of rest, remember, with the walk over against Hov Sepian. Golovchenko had that almighty battle with Sermonelli. That could go either way because she'll have been on a real high after that win, uh, a massive performance. Whilst Kaltsova was able to put her feet up. Kaltsova's in the red. Golovchenko's in the blue. Golovchenko just chasing her around the ring at the moment. Nice jab from Golovchenko. Counts over, looking to flick that jab up from the way. Second time around, got through. There's the one-two, though, from Golovchenko. Just stepped in, let her hands go. Nothing complicated about that. The counts over wasn't 100% switched on there. Nice little kind of up jab there from Golovchenko. Just disturbed the chin of counts over. Reaching for the right hand a bit there, counts over. Weight came forward. Nice short little left there from the Kazakh in red. And this is a pretty even contest so far, midway through round one. Golovchenko is looking to make a very quick start, counts over though. I think he's just beginning to get a handle on things. As I say that, Golovchenko just walks forward almost there, feet crossing. The hands moving in unison almost, and lands. A short left hand on the inside again there from Kaltsova. That's brought her some success, but she needs to do a better job defensively when Golovchenko just, just walks her down, pulling back in straight lines. Kaltsova is giving the, the Russian the opportunity to pursue that attack, keep pursuing it, and, and have some joy. Kaltsova just dips her knees and comfortably slides under that left hook from Golovchenko. 30 seconds remaining in round one. And she walked forward there, Golovchenko, and counts over that time. It was a bit quicker to take her feet out, came back with the right hand. But she is getting caught, and it does look a bit careless at times, counts over. She carries those hands low, and if you carry the hands low, that's, that's one thing, but you need your reflexes to do their job. If that's the case, and really, rather than 
look to slip those shots or dip at the waist or pull that weight back. She ends up taking a few too many. So at the end of the round there, I'd say the meteor blows came from Golovchenko. Untidy kind of a fighter at times. I mean, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it just matters what you land. Kaltsova did some neat work, but it just got caught a bit too much for me anyway. So Golovchenko gets it, but split scoring. Three, three judges going in her favour, two finally for Kaltsova. It's that kind of attack, really, that Kaltsova needs to be able to avoid. That's some good head movement there from Golovchenko. Again, just walking forward there, there's a lot wrong with what she's doing there. But once she's thrown the one-two, she did kind of step off to the to the left-hand side. And she's got long arms, long levers, really extends them, commits to that, to that one-two, reaches for it, chases it in, really. Right hand from Golovchenko to get things going in round two. There's that short left from Kaltsova. That's worked well for her. It's not really a jab. It's kind of an up jab. I described it as earlier on. It doesn't travel very far. And she's managed to time Golovchenko with it as she's come forward a few times. She shaped to throw it again there, but didn't get through. Then throws the right hand lead almost and moves straight onto the shoulder of Golovchenko. More orthodox looking jab that time from Kautsova, then cops a right hand back from Golovchenko. Throwing that right in really good fashion. Over the top of that lead left of Kautsova, which he does carry very low. Came back a little bit low, well, very low and a little bit slow. Golovchenko trying to extend that jab herself there. She's not done that too often. The referee having a word with her again about keeping her head up. She wants to be careful here. You don't need point deductions in these three round fights. That can be absolutely fatal, particularly in a final. And one as tight as this. And the referee having another word that time about making contact around the back of the head. Good head movement there from Golovchenko. Right hand down the pipe there from Kautsova. Wandering forward there, Golovchenko, but Kautsova gave the ground and she did the second time there. She doesn't really step off to the side, but what she's done better in this second round compared to the first is seeing those attacks coming, backing up and looking to catch Golovchenko on the way in. In the first round, she really just stood where she was and ended up getting landed on. Final 30 seconds of round two. Just wondering if Golovchenko is beginning to feel the pace a little bit here, but I think maybe she's one of these fighters who just has that slightly laboured look to her, stylistically. So the end of the second. I'd probably go red corner that second round. Again, it was tight. Split scoring in the first round. We got split scoring in the second round, and it's 3-2 in favour of Kaltz over. It's been that kind of a fight. 3-2 for Golovchenko in round one. 3-2 for Kaltz over in round two. Those scores came up very quickly. So I'm not quite sure how they tallied. In terms of whether there were 
two point margins there for either fighter and if so how many but it's all on the line here heading into this third and final round it's been a good watch this Referee giving them plenty of time to work that out themselves there, which is good. That's been a feature of the last couple of days, actually. The referees really haven't got involved much at all. They let the fighters fight on the inside. Good combination there from Kautso, but Golovchenko is looking for a big smearing left hand. I don't think it quite landed, and then throws a little bit of a tired-looking right. Trying to make the space for herself there for the right hand again, Kautsova. Golovchenko half blocked that one. And it's Kautsova, I think, who's having the better of this final round so far. She just seems to have a bit more left in the tank. There's a jab there from Golovchenko, but a right hand from Kautsova. Both of them swapping jabs. Heading into the final minutes of this women's light middleweight gold medal bout between Valentina Kaltsova of Kazakhstan and Galina Golovchenko of Russia. Kaltsova in the red, Golovchenko in the blue. Split scoring in the opening two rounds. 3-2 Golovchenko in round one, 3-2 Kaltsova in round two. And it's been tight again in the third here. I'm fearing towards the red corner myself. But a big finish for Golovchenko, a good finish. Could turn it her way, if indeed the judges are seeing it in the same way that I am. There's absolutely no guarantee of that. My card very much unofficial. So, final 10 seconds. And there goes the bell. Good fight. Good fight, very even fight. Kaltsova gets it. Kazakh fighter gets it by split decision. That's the way I would have gone myself. 29-28 for Kaltsova. It was very, very close. But I thought she just had a bit more left in that final round there. So 4-1. She got it across the board there with the judges in that third and final round. And the English judge gives it 30 points to 27. So a comfortable win for a from that judge's viewpoint, and Kazakhstan claim their third gold medal. And they've got another finalist coming up now, actually, as well. In Sagindik Togambai, the men's cruiserweight division. And he'll be up against Ukraine, Surhai Horskov. 
And now, let me introduce you to the boxer. It's